Welcome back everyone, Professor Mike, Coach T, back again, graced by Around Leeds here in the UK. Hope you're having a good one. Okay, back with a sneaky attack from side control today. This is what it looks like. No one likes these cheeky wrist lock. All right, we've got to have this in our game. Maybe it'll catch your opponent by surprise and get the finish. Maybe it'll just worry them a little bit and they'll worry about their arm position and they'll give you an opening. All right, so we're going to look at kind of a, a normal side control position when my hand is underneath the head and I've got my far side arm underneath my opponent's uh, elbow. We've talked about this position before. Advantageous. Now look, my opponent's positioning here. To build frames is a good thing, all right? But you've got to do it accurately. Now if my opponent, instead of placing his arm kind of across my shoulder line here, if he places the hand on my chest, and it's the chest, the pectoral you want to feel it on, I'm able to create a position here where he no longer can escape his arm. All right, it looks like this. So over here, my opponent presses the hand on the chest. When I feel the hand on the chest here, I close my head and I will pin his wrist to my chest momentarily with my chin. I come to the elbow line. I come over, find the elbow here. Now, a little bit of pressure here will finish. Okay, all I'm doing is pushing in. My opponent can't escape this. I keep my chin on his wrist. But to make it even tighter, I can walk this elbow out, a little tap again, so are you okay, Coach T? Yeah. I can walk it all the way out to 90 degrees and I can start to apply pressure in my body. So I'll pin his elbow to the mat and start to press in and press down with the weight of my body, okay? So just be careful when you go training with your training partners. It's a tight wrist lock, comes up pretty quick. Let's have a look how it happens again. So I can do this here, I can do it from here as well. Okay, obviously there's less movement from here, but nine times out of 10, when we're in side control, we're in this position, our opponent placed his hand on our chest, we feel it, chin comes to the wrist, hand to the elbow, over hand to hand. I grab the elbow, okay, I want my, el my own elbows on the mat. Okay, and I start to pull in towards the wrist. Provides pressure, there's the tap. If I need a little extra leverage, I can walk the wrist out. Remember, keeping your chin onto your opponent's wrist the whole time, walk it out, apply more pressure with my body. Okay, and there it is, a cheeky little wrist lock from side control. Thank you, Coach T. So look, go carefully with your training partners. It's a nice little option. Okay, when they start to feel comfortable, you can catch it nice and quick. Let me know how you go. Take care.